So no one treats you like a real artist? Let's find out why. Do you go to that family reunion just wishing you could sink into your chair? Constantly being asked by your relatives. How's that music thing working out? It's the worst, I know. And maybe your friends at school or college make fun of you for it. Calling you Eminem or Justin Bieber. Like, bruh, come on. <laughs> Why are these types of people always so uncultured on artists? Either way, it sucks. And you wish you had an audience that took you seriously and appreciated your music. It's possible, but you have to start acting like it's possible. You have to make decisions in your life that's going to push you further onto a lifeline where you are who you want to be. You need to learn that investing into your craft, whether that be in terms of getting good quality beats, going to a professional studio, or getting your music professionally mixed, is always going to help and is always going to push you further to your end goal. You need to start taking your career seriously as if there's no plan B. Because for a lot of you, this simply isn't. And what's waiting for you if you fail is a miserable nine to five with a shitty boss that you hate. I've been there before in my life and it's absolutely no fun. So start acting like the man or woman and start investing into yourself and your music. There's this concept I learned a while ago that I wanna share with you guys. And at first I thought it was just something that salesmen said to close a deal, but it's completely true. The less you invest in something financially, the less you're going to invest in it mentally. Really think about that. If you buy a beat from some dude on BeatStars for $10, you're probably just going to forget about it. You might not even use it or listen to it again. Because you invested so little into that beat, it holds such a small amount of significance in your life. Now think about if you buy an exclusive license from a very talented producer for $300. You're going to care about that beat way more and it's gonna hold much more significance in your life and you're sure as hell not just gonna let it sit on your desktop. You're going to use it. And you might even sit with it for weeks trying to make the perfect song to fit that beat. And that's because it holds way more significance to you because you had to invest way more into it. The higher investment is going to lead to you putting way more time and effort into the song and end up with a better final product. And I've seen this firsthand with myself as well. When I bought courses for hundreds of dollars, I actually took the time to go through them thoroughly and try to suck out as much value as I could. And then when I download someone's $10 PDF handbook for business owners, I barely even read past page one. So I want you guys to think about this and start thinking about ways that you can take your music more seriously. If you wanna work with top of the line producers and engineers that are actually going to push you to make good music that old Joe Schmo won't bully you for, the GYMT team is always here for you. So the bottom line of this video guys is that they don't take your music seriously because you don't take it seriously. I appreciate your guys' attention and I hope that this video brought some value to you. If you guys liked this video, be sure to check out our last video that's linked on the screen right now on how to make fire music videos for $5. I'll see you guys again soon.